This is going to be a breakdown of the new campaign teaser that was just shown at E3. I'm going to try to break down everything I see and add my own thoughts. The showcase starts with Bonnie Ross, the head of 343, and Joe Staten, the creative director on Halo Infinite, introducing the new trailers. The first segment is a panning shot that shows a marine base and pans up a cliff to a banished encampment. At the UNSC base, there's a marine looking at a terminal next to a mongoose, which could serve as an in-game vehicle spawner. And next to that, a table with a hologram of the MA-40 assault rifle, a possible weapons cache. As the camera pans up the cliffside, you can see in the distance the banished stronghold, which has been shown in prior concept art. There is also a ship in the top left of the screen that can just about be seen, at the top of the cliff next to the banished camp. There is spear stuck in the ground with marine armour mounted on them, as the camera pans towards the red smoke. There's an almost fusion coil looking device which seems to be holding marines captive. As the camera pans up and the pelican comes into frame, I can see four structures in the distance, a base directly ahead, further into the ring. Four on a structure off to the left, a four on a structure in the distance, and one on top of the hill. In the next segment, it shows a cutscene which seems to follow on from the Discover Hope trailer as Chief poses at the end of that trailer and the start of this, almost identical, standing in the back of a pelican. As he jumps out the pelican, the back of his helmet lights up in green where the AI chip would be to indicate that the pilot is speaking to him. As he makes his way through the debris and through dead marines, he grabs a fusion coil, like in game, and shoots it, very reminiscent of the Halo 4 trailer, where he uses a sticky detonator to get through the Ford unto Dawn. We also get a good look at the new redesigned sidekick pistol. As he continues on, he comes into contact with a dead jackal and grunts. He then manages to grab another magazine of ammo for his pistol and reloads it. After landing in the back of a troop warhog, he picks up the Marines MA-40 and starts to hear Cortana's voice. I need you to understand. There's not There's much not time. time. If you knew how you were going to die, you knew how you were going to die. How would you live your life differently? How would you live your life differently? This is new Cortana dialogue that hasn't been in a previous game, which could mean Chief has had an interaction with Cortana between Halo 5 and Infinite. After making his way into what seems like a banished hangar, the camera cuts to another scene, potentially later on in the game. I'm going to let the rest of the clip play and break it down after the dialogue. What happened? Where is Cortana? The rogue AI known as Cortana is gone. She's been deleted. How? By you? Of course not. Did you hit your head or something? Don't you remember? My instructions were to enter this installation, imitate Cortana, and lock her down for retrieval. Yours were to take her back to the Infinity for deletion. So if it wasn't you... Okay then. There's something else. On successful deployment, my deletion routine was supposed to complete. Still here. <laughs> Good. Good? Something stopped your deletion. We need to find out why. But this wasn't the mission. The missions changed. They always do. Are you sure? Thank you. 
In this scene, we get introduced to a new character, who according to 343 is known as The Weapon. But due to all her similarities to Cortana, I'm just going to refer to her as Neo Cortana. From the type of room they're in, with these floating foreigner objects in the back, and the fact that Neo Cortana says this installation, it's most likely that they are somewhere on Zeta Halo, as Halos are usually referred to as installations. The Neo Cortana says that Cortana's been deleted. I don't think this means that Cortana has been killed off, as in an Xbox news post, it says that Cortana's fate is one of the campaign's big mysteries. This probably means they are just sidelining Cortana's story for a bit, as this is supposed to be a spiritual reboot, and jumping into a conflict that was started in the last game, with no added context, would be confusing. Then, Neo Cortana very clearly states the instructions of the mission. Don't you remember? My instructions were to enter this installation, imitate Cortana, and lock her down for retrieval. Yours were to take her back to the Infinity for deletion. A detail I've seen people point out is that during this dialogue, the Chief is pacing in the room and not making direct contact with Neo Cortana. This contrasts from just about every other interaction that Chief and Cortana have had throughout the entirety of the series, where he would give her his full attention. Neo Cortana also states that when she was deployed to capture Cortana in the installation, her deletion routine was supposed to complete, erasing her, but that's not the case. Another detail I've seen someone point out is that Halo Infinite is supposed to be a one-shot game, meaning that the camera never leaves the Master Chief. Throughout all the cutscenes, the camera will be following him closely, and it will never cut once. It will just be a continuous flow. But in this scene, mid-conversation, there's a cut possibly change to not spoil anything in the story. Chief then says that the mission's changed. Since Cortana hasn't been captured and is now missing, Chief has to take the new AI and find out why her deletion stopped. Whether that's something to do with what Cortana was doing in the installation, or something different entirely. As other people have pointed out, this scene also calls back to some Cortana dialogue in Halo 4. They'll pair you with another AI. Maybe even another Cortana model if Halsey lets them. That's not going to happen. It won't be me. You know that, right? On to my own personal thoughts, not that anyone cares. I think the graphics in this trailer are way better than the graphics in last year's trailer. Chief's armor now just looks so much battle scarred compared to the clean green shade he had on before. The music is just on point, as Halo's music always has been. I think sidelining the Cortana and the created storyline is a good idea, as to new players that would be quite confusing to explain. I like Neo Cortana and think that having her is going to be very similar to when Chief first got Cortana in Halo Combat Evolved. And I think that's about everything in the campaign teaser at least. So now it's time to painstakingly go through the multiplayer trailer. Trailers, plural. A video will be out... whenever.